The Spring Grove Lions, a Saturday afternoon matinee victory over Grand Meadow 47 to 16 last week. Head coach Cody Moore joining us. And Cody, uh, you got off to a 27 to 8 lead in the uh, first half. And through the first four weeks of the season, you guys have been a reasonably good starting team. What do you credit that to? I think it, the main thing would be the guys being locked in throughout the week during practice. Um, in order to play well on Friday night or Saturday afternoon, in this case, you have to have um, each day you have to have good practices. And so we've tried to talk about that some, um, making sure you get better each day and not just get by. Uh, so I feel like the fact that our guys been locked in and had good weeks of practice and preparation um, doing a good job of watching film, um, soaking in what coaches are saying and that type of stuff. I think, you know, that's been a big thing. And then obviously, anytime you're able to do that, stay focused. The big thing is your senior leaders, um, they obviously do a good job setting the tone. So that's been a good thing to see. I'm uh, one of these boring curmudgeon guys that likes defense first in football. And so I'm going to talk about your defense once again. Gave up only 16 points. I gave up only seven first downs and 112 yards of total offense. That You guys continue to click on that side of the ball. Uh, how are you doing it? Well, you know, our de uh, the defense should be talked about because the last few weeks and, you know, the, through the first four games, you've been pretty lights out. Um, you know, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but it does go back to the fact that our D-line, I feel like, is doing a really nice job of freeing up our linebackers and then winning the battle at the line of scrimmage. And the the fact that it, Coach Elton's mindset is to really be aggressive and get after, uh, get after teams and send pressure and that type of stuff. And I just think having that mindset and that game plan um, just helps our guys in terms of staying aggressive. I just been really impressed with the way we get nine hats to the ball. Um, and like I said, just in general, real impressed overall. Um, just a few stats from Saturday. Eli Solom led us again with 13 tackles. Uh, Jacob Olerud had 12. So again, those are two linebackers that are free flowing. Um, and it's a, it's a great team effort on defense right now. So that's great to see. And how do you go about selling that whole thing? You mentioned the, your two linebackers were your leading tacklers, but they aren't the leading tacklers. If the uh, front uh, guys uh, aren't doing their job, taking up blockers, uh, how do you sell that mindset that, uh, Hey, you might not get credit for that tackle, but your effort is helping us work as a collective unit. Well, that's a great point. It's something we touched on uh, right at the beginning of fall camp there in August. And the fact that um, it's not about the guys that get their name in the paper and the guys that are always talked about. It's the guys that are willing to do the job. Um, that isn't always the prettiest job and doesn't get the notoriety. Um, those are the most important guys in the team. And we really stress that. Um, and I think, you know, our guys that are having success, you know, statistically, they understand that, that they're not going to have the success without the other guys. Um, and they make that known. And I, I really, I really think that's important, uh, that type of chemistry to have a successful team is understanding the importance of everybody's contributions. Um, you know, and I, we really talk about those blue collar guys and stress the fact that they're the most important guys in terms of what they do uh, to, to, for us to have success. So. You were able to have another good day running the football, ran it for 272 yards last week. And we've talked about your offensive line, and they obviously had another uh, really good game on Saturday. But when it comes to running the football, how important are your wide receivers getting downfield and making those blocks and perhaps taking a five or six yard run and turning it into a, a 20 yard run? That's another great point, Darren. That's something we just broke down film yesterday. And uh, that's one of the things you can really see right now is that our receivers are taking pride in the fact of knowing that what they do on the edge is what springs Hunter and our other backs for big runs. So, um, you know, and our coach Sanis and coach Hagen, our offensive line coaches, they stress that as well. They talk to our receivers about the fact that, hey, the difference in um, a five, six yard gain and a 65 yard touchdown run is you guys um, and our wide receivers uh, Jackson Strinmo and Caleb Griffin, Tyson Grindy, they've taken pride in that fact. And it goes back to doing the things that don't always get noticed on the stat sheet, um, doing the things that are 
sacrificing for the other guys to have success. So that's been awesome to see. And hopefully we can continue that trend going forward. I know I asked you about it last week, preparation for a game on a Saturday as compared to a Friday. Now you're on the backside getting ready for a Friday game after playing a Saturday week. Does that change uh, your week of preparation at all? Um, You know, it really doesn't. We just feel like we get back to our normal week now. Um, Our guys, you know, that's why you lift weights is to be able to stay healthy and be able to bounce back from physical type of games like we played Saturday. So really it's just nice to get back to the normal schedule and our guys, you know, they've been mature enough to handle the fact that the reality is you're going to have different situations with scheduling. When you get to playoffs, uh, the schedule is different. You play more games in a shorter amount of time. So actually it's a great preparation for down the road here in a few weeks when we get to playoff time. So. And Southland, uh, your opponent uh, this week, I know uh, the last time you guys got together in the sectional first round was a real close, competitive, entertaining uh, game uh, last year. What do you expect out of the Rebels Friday night? Southland is always well coached. I knew I know they have a he- new head coach over there, um, but he's been part of the staff under Sean Kennedy, and they just always have big physical kids. I don't know what's in the water out there, but they always seem to have like those bigger corn fed type of boys and um, so we expect them to be physical up front, just like they always have been. I know they, they lost a good bunch of seniors, um, but it's definitely something where our guys have to be ready for a four quarter battle again. And, um, you know, it's a little bit longer trip out there. So being able to handle that a little bit too is, is important, but I'm excited for the opportunity to go out and play a quality Southland team. All right, uh, coach, hopefully you can keep the winning ways going Friday night. Keep your guys healthy. We wish best of luck. Thanks a lot, Darren. Appreciate it. Cody Moore, head coach of Spring Grove Lions.